Hello everybody, this is Grandpa Scott again. Welcome to today's mini Snapseed tutorial. Today, as wind dies down a little bit, we'll be talking about stacks again. Remember we've talked about stacks in a previous lesson. Today we'll talk about how you can copy and paste or replace and insert tool effects that you have already put into one image. Take those same effects and put them into a separate image without having to totally redo them. So let's get started. This is the image we'll start with today. It's already open in Snapseed. And as you can see, if you look at the very top right hand corner where it says save in the box with the number four in it, there are four stacks already on this image, adjustments that have been made. So if I tap the four, the stacks up there, I get a list of these stacks. So we've got the vignette, a lens blur, details, tune image, and original. So if I touch the original, it goes back to what the original image was. I went through and with Tune Image, converted it to this. Added details, added that. Added lens blur, got that. And then finally added a little, little vignette. So those are the stacks I have. Now if I want to take these, I've got similar pictures and want to add these same effects without having to redo them individually on each picture, I can copy this stack and all these adjustments and go paste it or replace it into a new image. And how I do that is right here where we are now, go up to the very top right corner and you see the three dots, vertical dots. If I touch those, I get an option down below. I'm going to choose copy. I'll choose copy there. And now I can actually escape out of the stacks view with the arrow in the upper left corner. And I can actually go through and uh, add other items in here to this image if I want. Let's see if I add a frame. Let's do that just for fun. Okay, now I'm going to save this image. I always save a copy. And now I've got the stack saved, so I'm going to move to a new image. So if I click open, open from device, and go find a new image on my camera roll, I'll come over and get this image here. Now, before I paste anything onto this image, I want to crop this image. So first, let's open the toolbox, go to Crop, I'll choose Square, and I want to crop this to get just the girl up here, include her feet, drag it out, put her eyes on the third mark. There you go. Let's call that good. So I've cropped it. Now I want to apply all those stack adjustments from my previous photograph. So I'm going to open stacks by clicking on the box in the upper right corner that says 2, the stack box. This shows that there are some adjustments here in original, tune image, and crop. I don't know what the tune image is, so let's tap that twice and delete it. So what I'm left with is a crop. Now I want to paste the images, the stack from the other image. So I'm going to hit the three buttons, or the three vertical dots up here on the right. And it says copy, replace, insert, or discard changes. If I hit replace, it will get rid of the crop and zero out everything on this image, replace it with the stuff I copied from the previous image. Instead, I want to hit insert so that it leaves my crop in place on this image and just inserts all the other items. So there you go. Now you can see that it has pasted in these other items. They're not lit right now. So if I touch Tune Image, I can see what that effect brought over. I could actually just touch the very top one and see them all. Right? The vignettes are there. If I turn that off, you'll see that go off. The lens blur is there. Details is there and the crop is there. So that's my original image. I touch the very top of the stack. That's the final. What you'll notice is the lens blur that I brought in from the previous image doesn't really fit this image appropriately. So let's tap the lens blur. Tap it again twice and I'm going to delete that layer from the stack by hitting the garbage can on the right. I could also hit the adjustment or the brush and brush that effect into different parts of the image. But I'm just going to delete that whole thing. So there you go. I've now brought all the adjustments made from the other image 
the vignette, the details, the tune image, and pasted them into this image without having to redo them. So let's go out of Stacks and click Save on this image, save a copy. Now let's open another image, open, open from device, camera roll, and we've got another image here. Let's get this one. If I touch stacks, which is the box was zero, then sets the three dots vertical. I'm going to insert, remember all these adjustments, and boom, there they are. All the adjustments in a stack, if I hit the top button, they all come on, just like that. If I hit the original, I can also turn them on one by one. So the tune image adjustment, that's what it did to it. The details adjustment, that's the adjustment. The lens blur, ooh, that does not belong in this picture. So let's touch that again and adjust it just by deleting it. And the vignette, there you go. Now you'll notice that this did not bring on the very first image we did. We copied all of our adjustments we wanted to move to new pictures. We then went back and added a frame and did not bring that frame over because we didn't copy it. So this is a great tool to take the adjustments you spent time on in one picture, copy them, and paste them into additional pictures. Let's do it one more time. If we go back here, save a copy of this one, and open another image from device, camera roll. Let's see a final image here. This picture, we touch the square stacks box with a zero in it. We touch the three dots, hit insert, and boom, we've got to an image, we've got details, we've got lens blur, and we've got vignette. And again, lens blur I don't want, so I tap it twice, hit the garbage can, it's gone. Turn back on the vignette. Original picture, touch vignette, you see the final adjusted picture. Hit the arrow on the left to get out of stacks, save, save a copy, and you're done. Remember, it's easy when you do know how to do it. It's easier when you do it once or twice, and it's easiest if you do it many times. So play with stacks. There's a lot of power in stacks, and you can easily copy the adjustments you do and paste it into other pictures. Saves a lot of time and makes your pictures very easy to post-process. Enjoy.